All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a scene like this, nice and easy to be honest. And what I'm essentially doing is I'm driving the animation using audio, an MP3, music, whatever you want to call it. And this actually comes from a question on YouTube. So I'm going to quickly start the scene all over again just to give you an idea. So I'll go to general and in traditional fashion we'll delete the default cube and I'll add in a cylinder. Now the reason I want to model this is I want to show you how to use shape keys and we can use the shape keys and the audio to kind of drive everything. So I'll press tab to enter edit mode. I'll press R for rotate, X on the X axis, and I'll just type in 90. And we'll quickly move this over. I'll press 3 on the keyboard. I'll loop select these polygons. I'll delete this face. I'll delete this face. I'll select this face, and I'll press I to do an inset. And what I'll do is I'll just move it back on the Y axis, something like this. I'll press E to extrude. I'll press Control and B to do a bevel. I'll middle mouse to get a nice bevel. And there we go, we have this kind of basic speaker set up, nice and easy. I'll enable auto smoothing. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the object data properties here on the right hand side. And I'm going to add in a basis shape key. So this is pretty much the default shape of the model. I'll add in another keyframe here. Then I'll go into edit mode. I'll quickly press Z to go into wireframe. Let's square everything up. I'll press 1 or I'll go up here to select all these points. Nice and easy. I'll press Z to go back into solid and I'll just move this forward. And this is what will drive the shape key. So we've had the basis model and now we've got a shape key. I'll go back into object mode and you can see here everything resets. But if I change the value, we have a nice basic shape key. Perfect. Gives us that kind of speaker look. Now I'm not going to win any awards, but the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the graph editor. And I mentioned this the last video, the graph editor is probably one of the most powerful tools that you'll get. So I'll go to channel. Now we have nothing keyframed here. So on the value, I'll just right click and I'll insert a keyframe. And we can select this on frame zero. We can then go to channel and you can see here, sounds to samples. So this will let you import a sound file and I'll actually make a curve out of it. So sounds to samples, let's go into music, uh, here's a file that I've generated, and you can now see this is driving the animation, perfect. Now one thing that you might want to do is you might want to turn this into actual physical keyframes. And there's a good chance what you'll do is you'll go sample to keys, and it might work, <laughs> it might just generally work, but sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes you actually need to key to sample, so, so go to keys to samples, then go to samples to keys, if it doesn't work. Otherwise, just go to samples to keys. Now, this used to be called F-curve audio to F-curve modifier, I believe. I think they might have changed the naming convention, so it's slightly changed over time. And this means we can actually go in and we can select the keys, we can move them up and down, we can change things about nice and easy. But when we play this, perfect. Now you won't necessarily hear something in the background. If you want to hear the music or you want to hear the audio, let's, let's go back to keyframe zero. What I can do is I can go to add and I can go to a speaker. And we can open up the sound file here. We can go to music, save file, and then when we play in the timeline, what we'll actually do is we'll hear the music in the background. One very quick way to drive animation using an audio file do me a favor guys like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already follow me on twitter all that jazz take care